you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures TV. It's okay. Um, my name is uh, Dr. Henry. Okay, I am the medical director of this hospital. I'm the one attending to your son. As you can see, when you walked in here, I'm still attending to him. So please, can you give way? Let me do my job. Uh, 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 doctor, he is our only child. His mother and I had ten children. Only ten children, doctor. But he's the only one who survived for us. Please, doctor, please. Do not allow him die, please. Do not let him die, please. Papa, it's okay. I will do my best, okay? But my calling and training, my job is to help save people like him. But uh, in his own case, there are things I need to work with. Uh, um, doctor, I have already discussed with them on our way here. And um, they agreed to donate one kidney each to him. Beautiful. Um, but that will involve three major surgeries to be carried out simultaneously. Oh, um, oh okay, so now that we have three donors, um, what if we go and we look at him? Why can't one of them do the donation at least to save costs? I mean, with uh, one kidney, he can live a normal life for the rest of his life. No, I've already discussed with them and they said they will only be very, very comfortable if he has two kidneys. Well, um, from what they just said about him being the only child, I understand their stand here. Um, with the recent development, uh, the bill will be $8 million. Oh, well. ah, oh my, it's okay. It's okay. Um, well, doctor, go ahead and prepare them for surgery. Um, it's something I can arrange on my own. Very well, then. Um, they have to undergo some relevant tests before that. And uh, why will wait for that. I have to get in touch with the expert uh, surgeon. Um, it's okay. Do what you have to do. Let me go. Like um, that. I have to do it. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. Let me run before the bank closes. Okay. Doctor, okay. please. Mama, don't worry. Nothing will happen to you. It's fine. It's okay. Come on. Let me. You mean the treasury single account is Messing things up, right? Uh, no, 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 I don't quite get you. Well, I know the manufacturing sector is suffering and um, foreign investors are all trolling out of the country. Yes, I'm aware. Dad! Dad! No, no, but that's not the reason to delay. Yes. All, all right, okay. Okay, see you then. Thank you. Coming from the bank, right? Oh, so it's true. The bank manager told me that you asked him to, 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 to freeze my account, both business and private. Why would you do that? Why? To save the family from disaster and shame, Adora. Meaning what? Well, I cannot tell you more than this about the issue. Uh, by the way, I've just disposed of your values, your jewelries, car, and everything. So, can I have the khakis? You're joking. I'm dead serious, Adam. You're dead serious. Daddy, you're dead serious. You disposed of my jewelries. A car you bought for me on my last birthday. Why are you going to this extent just to frustrate Emeka? Why? I'm not frustrating Emeka, Dora. In fact, I regret this happening to him right now. You see, I'm being frustrated by circumstance. Please, Daddy, why don't you just tell me what this circumstance is? This circumstance that I don't know. This circumstance that you think I don't deserve to know. Please tell me because I need to understand what is going on. What 
is going on, Daddy? What is actually going on? Because I'm going crazy. Give me the car keys, please. I will never. I will never give you the car keys, Daddy, unless you tell me what is going on. Because I deserve to know what is going on. So spit it out. What is going on? Give me the car key. I don't know. Give me the key. I mean the car key. Give it to me. I saw a maker's parents outside crying and they refused to tell me why. What happened? Please tell me the truth. What happened to a maker? Nothing. Um, nothing actually. He, he just, um, as a matter of fact, he regained consciousness about 30 minutes ago. Doctor, I said, tell me the truth. He regained consciousness and the, his parents are still in tears. How come? It doesn't make sense. The, the surgery is Called off. Yes. Why? Uh, ma, um, their blood pressures are so dangerously high that uh, it will amount to pure mother for anyone to carry out any form of surgery on them before they are stabilized. And from my professional um, estimation, it will take at least um, two weeks uh, to achieve that. And their son hasn't got that. God, what, 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 what is going on? Eh, what is this? Why is every effort made towards saving a maker's life falling apart? Eh? What sin has he committed? Calm down, ma'am, please. Um, after hearing their story, I couldn't help but be lenient. Which, of course, is going to be the first time I'm doing that for any patient in this hospital. See the account uh, department and give them the 8 million I promised. I would allow the surgery to go on with a purchased kidney. And I will give you six months to pay the balance. Um, I don't know it. I... I don't... I don't have 8 million. Not here. Or anywhere else in this world for that matter. My... My, my father... My, my father... Chief, we know we have no right to come bothering you over our son's ailment. After all, he's only a staff. You are not owing him salaries. Neither is his head condition anything to do with the job that he is doing for you. Eh? But, Chief, we are talking about Life. Life is involved here. And the life is that of our only son. Please, please, Chief. Chief, help us, please. Help us. Please, help us. Help us if ever can look at me. Ten children, oh, really? Only Emeka survived. To wipe away the tears of childlessness from my face. Imagine the events the father and I are passing through. Watching such a child of a brother that is over. Passing through this. If you can meet Yana, go ahead. We don't have sushi. Please, Naji. If you help us now, help us if I make a new good move. Of who blood that is, who want to go? Please, chief, please help us. My wife and I have agreed to become your slave. I can't take it. We want to be your slave for the rest of our lives, chief. I can't take it. Anything you ask us to do, chief, we are ready to do it. Even without paying a time until a maker brings all the money that you spend on him to make sure that he is safe. 
please, we, we are slaves. We are no workers, please. Please, because... Look at us, please. Please. Please, say something. Please. Honestly, everything they are saying here is actually ripping my heart apart. Daddy, I am your only child. Just like Emeka is theirs. So just imagine me in Emeka's shoes. And then put yourself in their own shoes. Please. <coughs> Before you, Adora. Not up to two hours ago, I cried. For the first time in life, you saw your father crying. Or do you think I was merely acting a movie? No, not at all. Mm. Your father was crying for a maker. The young man, a maker, who in the last three months has proven himself to be more of the son I never had than a staff. I was crying for the unfortunate circumstance that so tied my hands mm. that I had to wash him dying and doing nothing. Again, Daddy, I ask you, why? Please, what is this circumstance that you keep talking about? Please tell me, because I need to understand it. Mm. If it is something that I wanted you to know about, I would have told you since yesterday. Anyway, let's pray. Emeka makes it beyond next week. Yes, if he does, that he Daddy, is. he does not have that time. That is the issue here. He doesn't have that time. Because he had Oh God, do not That was why I cried. That is the reason I'm feeling this miserable. <laughs> oh. Daddy. You said if we can find a free donor, 
that you will allow the surgery to go on with a six month stated check from my father. Yes, I said that, and um, that's because of my long lasting relationship with your father. Thank you. I. I want to be tested to see if I can donate. Is it that the doctor found out that he's okay or that his diagnosis was wrong? No, 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 daddy, no, 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 no. The doctor said that he's going to perform the surgery with a six months prostate check from you if a free donor is found. And daddy, a free donor has been found! <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Bless be your name the most high. Amen. And if I may ask, who is this free donor? Me, Daddy. You? Uh, y yes. The doctor tested me and said I'm, uh, I'm okay to donate. Never. It will never happen in this house. Listen, as long as I live, and as your dad, it will never happen. Uh, no, that you, I, I, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. I have spoken. In fact, I did not just speak, but I swear, with the last drop of my blood, it will never happen. Never. Daddy, you are wasting your time. You're wasting your time here. Sign this check, let me go back to the hospital. But if you don't, Daddy, I promise you, you will bury your only child long before his parents bury theirs. Adora, signing the check is no longer a problem to me. With the new arrangement by Dr. Henry, but the only thing that would be worse than being stabbed to death again and again to me is letting you do what you want to do with your kidney. Daddy, my mind is absolutely made up here. Just sign the check. I don't I'm not a devil. I have my cogent reason of saying no. A very sad no. And Daddy, you do not sign this check now. Daddy, I will just... In fact, I will bury this knife Deep inside my stomach if you do not sign this check by the count of ten. One. Two. Three. Four. I'm gonna stop it. Don't you sign the check. I will not. I cannot let you live on one kidney as I've done in the past 25 years of my life. Yes, Adora. I donated one of my kidneys. And as a result, I suffered two of my most painful losses as a human being. Yes, I'm not bluffing. Look at this guy. Just look at it. Jesus Christ. Daddy, you, 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 you've never told me about this before. The pain of discussing it is too painful for me to be here even now. Daddy, what happened? Who, who did you sacrifice your kidney to save? And what 
two losses are you referring to? I don't sit down. I met your mother when I was in secondary school, just like me. She too was an orphan. I'm being severely maltreated by her people. Due to our shared fate, we fell in love with each other. One night, her wicked uncle beat and drove her out of the house over a minor issue. And tragically, that night, she was raped by a notorious criminal in our village. Instead of consoling her, her uncle, his wife and children branded her a sheep prostitute and drove her out of the house completely. She was contemplating suicide. In order to save her, I decided to elope with her to the city. We suffered terribly in our first few months alone in the city until through God's favor, I finally started a petty business. Three years into it, I became financially stable enough for us to get legally married. During the early stages of the pregnancy, for the baby that would have been a younger one, she developed some complications that eventually led to miscarriage. Unfortunately, the complication badly damaged her two kidneys. I had to donate one of my kidneys to her to keep her alive. But in the course of the surgery, a costly mistake was made that left my reproductive system permanently damaged. I became impotent, permanently unable to achieve erection. On realizing that, your mother completely changed from insulting and taunting me with my condition. She finally did her worst by abandoning me and running away with a man, a close friend of mine for that matter. I loved her so much, Adora. I loved your mother. Even now, I still loved her so much that if she did not die during her next childbed in my friend's house, I will still be ready to forgive and bring her back and marry her again. That is your father's heartbreaking story. That's how I lost the love of my life and the ability to bear more children just because I was trying to save someone I love so much. How can I possibly let you do the same thing that I did when the fear of that ugly complication repeating itself in your life is still all over me? How can I? Adora, how can I? name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Father, we glorify your holy name. We thank you because you are the one who created heaven and earth. Yes. Father, without you, we are nobody. Father, almighty and ever living God, I bless whatever she's going to do. Oh Lord, we commit every activity of hers unto your evil care, Lord. Father, take proper control of us and our life. Take proper control of what I need. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything will be successful, O Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear you, Lord. Oh, daughter of God. Hear the word of the Most High spoken to his prophets. The surgery will be successful. Thank you, Lord. You and the person you're trying to save shall survive and live healthy lives thereafter. No complication during and after the surgery shall occur. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. The surgery must be carried out with the consent of your father. For if it is carried out without his express permission, both of you will still live a healthy life thereafter. But there will be tears instead of celebration after the surgery. Thus is the Lord. Tears instead of celebration. Why? I mean, what will happen? The spirit is not telling me, my daughter. Um, okay. Pastor, what what if my father refuses to give his consent even after hearing this prophecy? What should I do? Please, I need your advice. Charity, especially when it involves saving the life of a poor and a helpless person, it's approved of God. The same God told us in one of his Ten Commandments that we should obey our parents. Go on your knees, pray to God to help him make the right choice. Daddy, thank God. Thank God you're here. Adora, what are you doing here? Uh, Daddy, I'm coming from Brother John's place. I went to talk to him about Emeka's case. And I'm here waiting for a taxi. And the sun is too much. You told me you are going to the office to tidy up things. And now you are telling me you are coming from our family spiritual director's house. Daddy... Adora, listen. If you disobey me and make that kidney donation to that boy, I'll kill that boy and, and turn the gun on myself. Now, enter the car. Adora, enter the car right now. Stop myself to death. Call him and tell him you don't want to get involved with his case again. Daddy, Daddy, please. Call him or I kill myself at the count of seven. In case you are thinking otherwise, my death will make you an instant destitute. Yes. And I will go. I altered my way. Even everything to the Catholic Church. Yes. So, 
do it now or choose between a maker and having your father's blood on your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's okay. Don't do it, Daddy. Daddy, don't do it. Don't, 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 I'm dying, I'm dying, Daddy, please. No, 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 don't do it. I'm dying, Daddy. Just, 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 just see. I, I'm dying, I'm, I'm dying, this number. God, God save you. Please, don't, 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 don't. Yes, it, it, it's ringing, it, it's ringing, it, it's ringing, Daddy, it's ringing. Hello? 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 Um, Emeka, Emeka. Emeka, please, please, just, just, just listen, listen, I... Please, I'm just, I'm fine, please, just listen. Emeka, I, I'm calling to tell you to forget the idea of me donating my kidney to you. Please, just listen, please, just... Just take it that we never met, okay? Please. Yeah, yes. Please, that is all I can say for now. I am begging you, just, just understand. Yes. Ada, wait, 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 wait. Ada, 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 Ada. Who did she say? She called the phone on me. Caught. Why can we go to what's the phone or to look at one when I did my door as I don't pick up? Thanks. Thanks for your job. Go to the gate. Stay there and make sure she does not cross that gate until I instruct otherwise. Alright, sir. Yeah, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you, Daddy. I hate you. <laughs> try it again. Try it. I'm trying. I'm coming. Bridget, yes. This. What, what, what do I do now? What do I do? Why don't you call the father? Eh? Call her father. Call her father. I have more back there. Okay, okay. Hey! Hello, Chief. <laughs> Forget my daughter ever donating her kidney to you if you want to stay alive, Emeka. It will never happen. As long as I'm alive. Oh, you are wasting the precious time you don't have on this particular issue. Find another daughter and I will sign the presented check. And until you do that, do not call either me or my daughter again. Or you will have the devil in me to contend with. What did you say? Huh? What did you say? Say? Huh? Okay. say? He called the phone on me after giving me a serious warning. Huh? 
Ja, dat is het kool voor je. Mmm, ik heb niet voor mij nog. Hey. What will I do? Will how I much do you have now? I mean, how much do you have with you? I, 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 I have 424,000 naira, doctor. Please, please, doctor, please help me. Please save me. Well, um, while I uh, I'm even ready to assist you or to help you even now, uh, I can't. But however, I provide the needed kidney. I actually asked um, the question because I found a merchant donor who is um, willing and ready to give you one of his kidneys in exchange for money to help um, solve uh, one of his present family problems. Doctor, doctor, I, 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 are you joking? How much is the person re requesting for? Uh, 1.5 million. Uh, if you can afford it, uh, make it available between now and the next four days else your condition will become irredeemable. Just for this. Good morning, my dear. Daddy, I don't want to talk to you. Not when Daddy is here to brief you on a positive development about the mega. Dr. Henry called last night to say that a donor has been found for him. How? God, I thank you. Time within the next 48 hours. Don't ask me why it is not happening immediately. Because I don't know. This is the postdated check that Dr. Henry asked. Well, Dr. Henry, I Thank you, Daddy. God will bless you for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ha! Ah, Daddy, you don't know how proud of you I am right now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So let me now freshen up and go to the hospital. No, 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 no. You won't go there until the surgery is successful. You won't even call the neck. It is upon those conditions that I decided to give this check to Dr. Henry. As a matter of fact, he will be here to pick it any moment from now. If you disobey me, I will back off completely. Deal? Adora, deal? That's all right. 
Come with me and take your cell phone. Thank you, Barrister. Uh, you said you have an ugly development to report to me? Yes, she obtained the permit from a friendly judge to Allahaji to go ahead and execute the agreement in three days' time. When did that happen? Um, about an hour and a half ago, according to my source. But I can get a friendly judge to grant us a restraining injunction against them, if you permit me. No, 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 no. I can't permit such. I'm not an increase. Beside uh, more than a year extension in the execution of our agreed debt, one cannot say they've not been gracious enough to me. But if we do nothing, the consequences could... Oh, no, forget about the consequences. I, I'm ready. I'm ready anytime. You mean you are? I am ready as early as tomorrow. Thank you, Barista, for your concern. Uh, can we share a drink? Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Chief. Um, but I beg to decline. I have a lot on me right now. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, woman. My son. Hello? American one? Aha. Yes, he did as promised. Uh, uh, you see, when he saw that I moved all our belongings to your maternal home, uh, so he gave it to me. Yes. Yes. Oh, 1.2 now. 1.2. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, my son. Uh, I would have called you since last night, but I, I ran out of call credit. Uh, that is why I'm sorry. Eh? Uh, so how are you today? Uh -huh. Very good then. Very good. Huh? No, don't worry. You'll be okay. It is going to be over today. Yes. Okay. I, I was about leaving when your call came. I will see you.
Do this transaction for me. This is getting serious. Let me take you to the hospital instead. Uh, I'll take care of it at home. Please. You have to rush. I'll conclude the transaction. Daddy, what kind of transaction is this that you're placing it above your health? A huge and a very important one. So huge that I had to convert the whole money into dollars for easy movement. This been doing this for the past six months. Waiting for today's uh, transaction. The money is here. 12.6 mil. 12.6 million dollars. What? Okay. Uh, Daddy. Wait, you kept such an amount of money in the house? What uh, for? I will explain when you come back. Just take me to the house and proceed to the bank immediately. Pay it into this account details. Uh, uh, take me to the house, please. I can't continue. But Daddy, the, 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 the money laundering act. The manager of the branch will assist you without anybody asking questions. Pass through this all alone. 